ICT and its current state. Objectives 1. Identify what is ICT. 2. Explain and give how ICT affects their everyday lives and its current state. Technological Convergence Using the Venn diagram below, list down how each one is similar to the other. Write your answer in a table like the one below. What is ICT? Information Communication Technology, ICT, is an umbrella term referring to communication hardware or software that allows the access, storage, transmission, and manipulation of information. In terms of hardware, ICT specifically encompasses radio, television, communication devices, smart and non-smartphones, desktops computers, laptops and network hardware and technologies. ICT is also comprised of software, applications, and platforms that allows information to be accessed, stored, transmitted and manipulated. ICT is used across by many industries and disciplines and in some, it is a crucial element for them. ICT is now a part of many people's lives, for better or for worse. Ultimately, this technology depends on your behavior as an end user, thus learning how to use ICT properly and responsibly is a must. Current state of ICT ICT is following certain trends as it is developing in this time and age. This trend dictates the idea and design of how ICT delivers information to people. The following are emerging technologies, principles, or concepts in ICT. Convergent technologies, this is when multiple different devices combine into a single gadget because of technological advancement. One example of this is smartphone, where it is capable of doing the functions of a television, radio, computer, telephone, camera, and GPS as a single device. Social media, these are software, applications, or platforms that allow users to communicate in an online social communities or network. Social media allows people to communicate faster through a larger number of people. Mobile technologies, this is a term for devices that are easily carried and allows fast means of communication. These devices from the past were originally big and bulk, but due to the technological advancement, they become smaller and more compact. World Wide Web, www, versus Internet. People colloquially refer the World Wide Web, web for short, as the Internet or vice versa interchangeably. But there are key differences between the two. The Internet by definition is the actual interconnection of computers and other networks, while the web refers to the system that enables people to access information over the Internet. The Internet is the hardware aspect because it relates to computer networks, connections, and infrastructures. The web on the other hand, refers to the software aspect as it relates to the protocols or HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol. HTTP are the system or procedures that enables the transfer of information in the Internet, web services, applications, and platforms. Web versions The web has three distinctive versions namely, Web 1.0, Web 2.0, and Web 3.0. Some people think that the indicated web versions are updates across a particular point of history. The versions of the web are categorized based on functionality and features that it represents. Web versions The web has three distinctive versions namely, Web 1.0, Web 2.0, and Web 3.0. Some people think that the indicated web versions are updates across a particular point of history. The versions of the web are categorized based on functionality and features that it represents. According to the inventor of the World Wide Web, Tim Berners-Lee, Web 1.0 is read-only web which means the user can only read whatever online content the creator has made. Web 2.0 is read-write, which refers for the ability of the user to add content through posting, sharing, commenting or rating. 
Web 2.0 allows interaction not only in between the user and the creator but also to other users. Examples are sites like Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and Reddit. Web 3.0 is a concept of how the web will evolve. The keyword for Web 3.0 is executable, which refers to the capability of accepting a request from. The user will execute a solution or suggestion considering the behavioral data the user. For example in the diagram the user would request a suggestion for a restaurant in his phone. Based on the current time, previous preference of restaurants of the user and seat availability from various restaurant reservation apps in the internet the user's device will suggest results from, if requested it will also reserve a table for the user. Web 3.0 is not yet fully realized and is still developing, the full concept can still change.